Welcome back to Super Geeked. <laughs> Episode number three. 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 Third box. And this one is a doozy. It doesn't, it's not very big, but it's heavy. It's very heavy. So I'm about to cut into it now. So if anybody has missed our previous videos. Wait, let me do it. Let me do it. Previously on Super Geek. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm really excited. So we I'm, have been unboxing. I've been unboxing thread up boxes to resell online. And Oliver has been unboxing Dr. Strange record hauls because he's gone absolutely nuts. Nuts. Your live sales and bought tons of records. Nuts. So this is kind of a mixed bag haul to show you some of the things that we like to, I don't know, buy. <laughs> Blow my money on. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to open the little box first, I think. You have two? I have two. You probably have more in your boxes this time than me. Probably so. Yeah. But that's okay. I had more last time. I have pages. I have three pages of invoice here. <laughs> so, so if you're new to Super Geeked, I'm Victoria. And I'm Oliver. And we like to celebrate anything we get Super Geeked about on our channel. So you can see all kinds of stuff on here from vinyl to uh, toys to horror movies to tattoo conventions to reselling <laughs> anything we get excited about that's right that's right anything and before we get good and started here i do want to mention that one of the things that gets me super geek is tiktok i love doing the tiktok videos and i want to give a real quick shout out because i found uh, some new friends on TikTok. I uh, found a group called, uh, believe it or not, Rednecks for Rainbows. And these guys are incredible. They, they're some of the sweetest people that I've ever met. And they're so supportive of the LGBTQ community. Uh, I should say LGBTQ plus. Uh, they are, um, most of them are straight men and women who are just supportive of people being themselves and being comfortable in you know, in their own skin. So if you get a chance to, they do have a website. It's uh, www.rednecks4, and that's the number four, rainbows.com. And then you can also find them across social media by using the hashtag rednecks for rainbows I love you guys, rednecks for rainbows You guys are amazing. Yeah, I have to say Oliver called me this past week and was pretty emotional about having found this group and how just loving and compassionate they are and he was just really touched so yeah, yeah. check them it out means, i'm sorry i just said check them out yeah it means a lot to me to know that there's people out there from all walks of life that are you know that love that love other people enough to say hey you know we support you we support what you do and these people are amazing so so definitely Go show him some love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> TikTok notifications. TikTok notifications. And go and find me on TikTok. TikTok. Go and find me on TikTok. <laughs> I'm I'm Werewolf138. It's uh it's W R E W O L F 138. So go find me on there. Okay. You ready? Okay. I'm geeked. I'm super geeked. Okay, well, you, you go first this time. Okay. So, Victoria doesn't know this, and this is a surprise to her, but I have multiples of some of these, uh, and the ones I'm about to show you, I have multiples of, so I got multiples to give them to she and her husband, Josh. So, Shut up. No, I did. These are, these are for you guys. So, this is Spook City USA by The Misfits. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. And it's colored vinyl. It's beautiful. Look at that. No, he's going to die. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm not done yet. I'm really excited about this one. 
Halloween. Halloween. Oh, I have that pin with the pumpkin. <laughs> the jack-o'-lantern. Orange wow. vinyl. Okay. And also, I have, this is hellbent for vinyl. This is was recorded live at Max's Kansas City back in like 80. Oh, yeah. You told me about that. Six. Yeah. And this is also, no, this is black. It's just black, black wax. So this one's not colored, but this is a, a these are all limited releases. Wow. Uh, they're, they're, these other two were re-releases. This one is an original release. It's never been released. So, and it's limited. So I got us duplicates. So you guys will, these are for you. Thank you, Ollie. That is so sweet. If, uh, if anybody hasn't uh, watched our channel before or doesn't know, we're big Misfits fans and we all drove up to Chicago, which we live in South Mississippi. So that's a, a long <laughs> drive, but we drove up to Chicago to see the Misfits. I don't know how many years ago it was. Five years ago? Uh, yeah, it was five years ago. Wow. How time flies, right? Yeah, but it was, it was amazing. All right. Shoot. Oh, yeah, my turn? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to open this little box. Got my thread up uh, tissue paper. By the way, I bought all this just like last time from the outlet. I don't know if my face is doing that thing again. Okay. I bought all this from the uh, thread up outlet, which is like the discounted area. And a lot of these were assorted brands. So I think I knew what this was. Yeah. Okay, so this is a cocktail dress. And it's this purple, but it's got this like sash that comes off. It's really pretty. I thought you'd look great in this, so I bought this for you. But it's um, Karen Millen. It had to be Karen. Karen, I can't see, you can't see it. There you go, Karen Millen. And it is new with tags. And um, yeah, I'm not really sure how much this retails for, but it's a lot. <laughs> so um, here, let me look it up real quick while we're sitting here. You mind? No, go ahead. It's like it retailed for about $165. Anyway, it's a purple cocktail dress and it retailed for, you know, a moderate amount. So I uh, should make a nice profit on that, especially because it's new with tags. So I've got less than Jake and this is like a cover album. They do the cover of the Dukes of Hazard theme, Three's Company, the Jeffersons and Happy Days. Cool. And, I, and that's one of my favorite bands. I couldn't pass that up. Another one of my favorite bands, ooh, the Ramones. Ooh. This, this is not in English, so I have no idea what it is. <laughs> This is, I, it's an in. it was deaf, I, uh, Spanish. Yes. It's definitely, Sp well, it's Spanish or Portuguese. It might be Portuguese. Uh, cause it doesn't know it's definitely Portuguese. So, you know, this is from a Portuguese speaking country or something, but I just thought it was cool. And I had to have it, I, you know, I collect remotes and, oh yeah, wait, there's one more. There's one more that I miss. I don't have duplicates of this one. They didn't have very many of them, so, but I've got beware. Oh, cool. Uh, this is um, a blue, a blue vinyl. And that's a reprint of that one. And I'm not going to go through all these, but th I've got like, these are all like Discharge, the band Discharge, uh, which is an anarcho punk band from, you know, what, the 80s, whatever, 80s, 90s, probably 90s, 80s, 90s, something like that. Uh, these are all reprints on Havoc Records, so I'm not going to go through those. I'm really excited to have them, though, because I love this band. How many did Discharge like records did you buy? Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, Dang. seven inch Discharge. Wow. They're all reprints on Havoc Records. I could pass up the opportunity. They were a really good price, though. Okay, I should have said that um, everything in, these, in this haul, I paid... I paid ten dollars and sixty-seven cents for. So, nice. Um, if I sell it for minimum of fifty bucks, I'll be doing great. So, okay. Next yeah. thing in this box, I think this is some shoes. And yeah, uh, yeah I also bought these for you, so I'm not going to resell these. I expect you to wear them. You know, I only wear heels. Oh, 
you're in for it. So these are your new shoes. Oh, baby Jesus. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> They're so pretty. So these are also Karen Millen. Oh, those look brand new. They are. Well, they, they were probably worn like once or twice, not a whole lot. But this is, uh, she's actually a UK designer. So um, I just thought they were really pretty because they have like the animal print, which, you know, is really big right now because of yeah. Tiger King. Uh, check out my sweater. <laughs> and then they, they have these pretty bow details with some rhinestones on them. And yeah, so I paid um, 1067 for these also. So they're really cute. You think you can wear them? I don't know. They are a UK size 40. So I, I don't I don't know how that translates to men's sizes. So well, we'll just we'll try it on. It does look like drag queen size though. It's so. not. You said drag queen size was 11. This is not an 11. Oh, okay. So all right. Well, then it definitely won't fit me because I wear a size 12. Oh my God, you ready for this? I don't this know. Is, this is exciting. This is exciting. I have ah! a reprint of the original Danzig LP. Uh, this is uh, a limited edition reprint from the UK. So this is not US and it's clear, it's clear vinyl. So we've got clear. That's very cool. We actually have that album. Okay, so each of the items that I'm going to show you now was I paid seven dollars and ninety six cents each, and the first item is this pink and gold speckled little cocktail dress, and this was in the assorted brand, so I didn't know what this was, but I did Google it because I could tell it had a good quality metal zipper, and it is this brand called Aaron, which. Okay, so it's a brand called Aaron, and it is actually sold on some really popular sites like Shopbop, and it's a very expensive brand, and so I should be able to make a really good profit on this dress. You know how I love them New York uh, bands. How about the New York Dolls? Yay! We have some New York Dolls, too in in too much too soon i think i want to say this was their second album i have their first album already uh this is an original uh print of their second album which was not it it, it wasn't their best it's got it's got some good stuff on it. it's got chatterbox on it and uh you know babylon it's got a few good songs on it uh it's not near as good as their first album but still a good record so i was excited to, and this this came from that collector uh, from the UK. This was from his collection. So, and you know, if, if you guys don't know this, if you haven't watched any of our previous videos, I love the early New York punk rock. That was, that's my jams. You know, of course, the Ramones being my favorite band. And then you got the New York Dolls and Iggy and the Stooges and Richard Hell and the Voidoids, you know, all that, all that great stuff. So, really excited to get that. Next dress. So, this is a precious little pink dress. I have to give a shout out to my girl, Brittany, over at Shop Foxborough because uh, she called it on this dress. And it is an anthropology brand. And it is this precious little A line dress, but it has this sweet little floral detail all over it. And it's like got a, sh it's like sheer. You know, it's like, a, it's hard to see with this. I can see, I can see your hand through it. I see what you mean. But anyway, it's really cute, very reminiscent of 1950s style. And I just thought it was precious. And I wasn't gonna get it at first because I wasn't sure if she was gonna buy it. But then like four days later when I was still purchasing and it was still there, I was like, okay, I'm buying it. So shout out to my girl, Brittany, because I know she'll watch this. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> And by the way, that was under the assorted brands too. So that did not have the brand name on it. But again, you just kind of have to look for things that maybe you know or like 
kind of Google stuff or check the fabric. Sometimes they don't even list the fabric on it. So you really can't use that as a clue, but um, yeah. So ass assorted brands. So our friend Rachel is, is gonna be jealous of this because I happen to know for a fact that she loves Naked Aggression. This is one of those Riot Girl bands from the 90s that were so on fire at the time. I think they were kind of at the forefront too, to be honest. They maybe came along late, late 80s, maybe late 80s, early 90s, whatever the case may be. But I know Rachel loves these guys because we've had multiple conversations and I've got plenty of their seven inches. This is my first LP, so I was really excited that, you know, this was a snag for me. Whoop, whoop. You go, dude. For real, yeah. All right, this is a top I wasn't sure about, but I just bought it based off of the fact that, okay, for a couple things. Um, and this may be a dud, but mm -hmm. so I, it's got, okay, let me show you the whole top first. And it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but so it's got, it's got these cool like beaded shoulder pads, sort of like armor. And then it like drapes in the front. So you get a little cleavage. But then at the bottom, it's got like this. Are you laughing? Uh, it's really cool. It's got this belt detail, and it's, I could tell it was a leather belt. And then it had a name on it. And I was trying to read it. And it's this brand Care uh, Car. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to wear this? No, I don't. <laughs> It's really cool. I mean, the sh the the pads are kind of what you think it's ugly. I, I I I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I'm just being honest. I'm just. Well, I, I didn't buy it for you. Right, and it's a but good thing. Another reason that I bought it was, um, it was made in Italy, so usually mm -hmm. that tells you that it's pretty good. Um, it might I don't look. Know any, huh. It might look good if if I were to see it on like like if you put it on Cookie. Yeah, it's just like Cookie her mannequin, by the way. Yeah, you just put it on your shoulders and then it drapes in the front, so you have a little bit of cleavage. Baby, that's a lot of cleavage. It wraps, but it's just the way that it's hanging. Okay, go ahead. whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't really know anything about this brand because it was under the assorted brands. It was a risk. What what's the name? What's the brand name? It's called Care Car with two K's. I don't know. I'll look it up. So not really sure if that's a dud or not. <laughs> Oliver saying wah, wah. I well again, I'm not seeing it on, you know, if I were to see it on a person, maybe. I don't know. It looks very, very open. It it looks like something that Black Oak, Arkansas would wear back then. Really? You don't know who Black Oak, Arkansas is? Google yeah. it. Anyway, moving on. Love me some early punk rock, and I love these guys so much. So this was also from that, that record collection from the UK. This is Eddie and the Hot Rods. Life on the line. Eddie and the Hot Rods were, these guys had, they were more, they were more throwback rock is what I, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know, you know, bands like the Ramones and stuff like that, that were just pure straight ahead rock and roll. Eddie and the Hot Rods were like that. They were very, very um, kind of late fifties, not really rockabilly, but a blend of rockabilly and what was coming out after rockabilly, you know, the new rock and roll at the time in the sixties. That's kind of what they remind me of. Hey, hold on, pretty... hold on. Hey, me and Ollie are recording a video. <laughs> yeah. Here, hold on. Say hi, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Hey, hi, Josh. How you doing? Hey, tell him what you bought us, Ollie. D oh, well, I'd really rather show you, but uh, I've got, you'll have to watch the video to see that. <laughs> but uh, I got you some uh, reprints of some Misfits 7 inches. Really? He got us three. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Thank you so three, much. 
No worries, man. All about the love. <laughs> okay, so Eddie and the Hot Rod's life on the line. Get out of Denver, baby. Is it my turn? Yes. You're going to totally love this item. So this was under assorted brands, but I could tell immediately that it was vintage. You ready? Yeah. It is a total like saved by the bell sweater. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> is that not precious? That is so, totally saved by the bell. You're uh, right. It's by Jet Set Sweaters. And uh, yeah, it's super fun. But I love to sell vintage, so, and I love these colors. I wish it was my size, but it's like a tiny, that, like an- That's so small. 80s. That's so 80s right there. It's yeah, this awesome. says it's a medium 10, 12. There's no way this is a medium. This is like a small. <laughs> that's tiny. Yeah, so anyway, I thought it was really cute. It was under assorted brands, and I was like, ooh, that's vintage. So <laughs> that's fun. No doubt go okay this is the weirdest album cover but i do you did you ever like M mdc i can't no. say i've never heard them they were an 80s hardcore band from texas uh they were very very like uh, mdc stands for millions of dead cops so they are very very uber political but there was a lot of strife in the punk rock scene with the police yeah. back in those days and so over the years they they sort of they had this revolving meaning to their name i think they kind of got away from that we hate the cops kind of attitude and there was like um uh, i'm trying to think of one of them it was uh multinational mm. i can't remember they they did change it up they were a very political band they went more from like scene politics back in the early days into more you know deeper seated uh politics this one has um uh one of the songs on is south africa is free this is an original uh the mdc stuff is hard to come by and it's very collectible so i was really excited to find this this is an original uh an original print of this and it's in really good shape so i'm really excited about that yeah punk rockers in like the late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s, I guess all the 80s, they got their butts kicked for like yeah. walking down the street with a mohawk and leather jacket, you know, so it's definitely different times. And also it's worth noting that the lead vocalist for NDC is also a gay man. So not only, not only was he catching hell for being in a punk rock band and being, you know, running around with a bunch of punk rockers, but they did a bunch of queer core shows back in the day and they were not very accepted by very many people at the time. It was, you know, wow, that I would hate to have been that guy. Yeah. Okay. My next item is another dress. I guess I got a lot of dress. I like to sell dresses. I get a higher return on my money for selling dresses. So this is a little strapless uh, cobalt blue dress with this ruffle detail that goes down the front. It's kind of hard. I love to the color. Yeah, it's like a really vibrant cobalt. And it's by uh, Susanna Monaco. So, and uh, this, she, uh, her dresses are retail for a lot and can resell for a lot. So I was happy to find this. And I think that this originally retailed for $143. So, yeah, super cute. Uh, I think they sell her on that website I was talking about, ShopBob. So, very cute. What's next? So, I'm really excited about this one. This is my favorite album by Agnostic Front, Riot Riot Upstart. This album is crazy awesome. I mean, I've, and then, oh, it's color too. Let me show this. Cause this is, this is like, a, like, like a neon highlighter yellow. Color. I love that. So this, this, this is, as I said, you know, I love agnostic front. I think I've mentioned that in another video, how much I love agnostic front. Maybe I haven't. Anyway, I love agnostic front and this is my favorite album by agnostic front. Uh, this was, I guess, because like when I discovered them, this was like their newest album. And I guess that's why it sticks out so much for me. 
but I love this and I was so excited. For whatever reason, I don't have it on vinyl and I was like, oh, I gotta get this. So, uh, and I'm glad I did. This is a reprint uh, and it was produced by, by Lars Fredrickson, who if uh, anybody knows who Lars Fredrickson is, it's, uh, he's the guitar player from Rancid and he also, Lars and the Bastards, and, you know, um, what's the other band? Uh, Old Firm Casuals. So Lars, Lars Fredrickson is, you know, a deep cut there. But yeah, agnostic. Um, one. Love these guys. Okay, this <laughs> funny. Uh, this dress they had listed as a robe, I think. But I could tell it was like a little sort of like kimono wrap, and it's got this like tropical print all over it. Can you see it, Oliver? I can see it. So okay. So this is from the brand Some Days Lovin'. And where was this sold? Let me look at this real quick. I think it's sold at Nordstrom's, hold on. It's actually sold at Revolve. So that's good. You're like, I don't even know what Revolve is. I don't know what Shop Bop is. I don't <laughs> But it's a cute little wrap dress, so that's a good buy because it was under assorted brands. Oh, it's listed as a cardigan. I'm sorry, not a wrap, a cardigan. So, um, get yeah. it straight, huh? Get your story straight. Don't start with me. Thread Up needs to get their story straight. Why would you list this as a cardigan? That makes no sense. So anyway, that's that's a good find in the outlet assorted brands go okay here we go again more agnostic front this is their latest album this just came out this hasn't even been opened yet this is still in the plastic and apparently it is pressed on red vinyl limited to 1100 so this is a limited print of this in the in the colored vinyl and i love me some agnostic front so all right, I only got two items left. I'm gonna pull out this item because I don't know what this is. So this is under assorted brands. And I bought it because, oh, does it have damage? Not really. Okay, so it's just this little, somebody, some, it looks like somebody probably bought it at thrift store, but it's this little dress. And it's a high low, so it's higher in the front, lower in the back. And I just thought it was a really cute sort of like vintage inspired style, but um, there's no tag in it. So this is probably some no name brand, um, could be made in China. Um, let's see, it's got a little tag here. Yeah, there's not even an RN number on it. It's just got the fabric content and it says made in China and it's got like a little size. So this is probably just some cheap whatever. Um, but it's, it's fine. I mean, it's not like bad. I could definitely sell it. So, um, and at least make my money back, you know, I could probably sell it for 25 bucks. So I double my money. Okay. Story time. So oh. you, Victoria and I were estranged from one another for years. We hadn't seen each other in years. She'd gone off to Ohio. I'd gone off to Tennessee. We both ended up coming back to South Mississippi. We had a friend who ran uh, a club, uh, a little, just a little small club called the Squeaky Lizard. They were doing underground shows and punk rock karaoke and things like that. So one night they had a show. Uh, it was, uh, I'm trying to remember the, um, oh gosh, what was it? Uh, the Adolescents, the Adolescents and this band, the Lower Class Brats, okay. which, which played at the show that you and I, you came late, like three hours late after like all the bands had played or whatever. So you missed the actual show, but you and I reunited as friends, uh, like no time had passed. And, yeah, uh, you started giving me crap as soon as I got there. Well, like, of course oh, I did, seriously, you like the lower class brat. Yeah, you, you were like, them? you were like, th seriously, three hours late. I had to do my hair. Whatever. 
So this is primary reinforcement plus. This is a collection of their first six, seven inches on LP. And these, this is a fun band. This is a really fun band. They were so good live. Um, I didn't see them. <laughs> but they still remind me of you. Uh, because if you'll recall back in like one of our earlier videos, if you guys have kept up with us and, and kept track of the backlog videos for um, our spooky music hall, uh, one of the records that Victoria pulled for uh, for one of her records was um, the uh, A Clockwork Orange soundtrack. And this that will, of course, heavily influence the, like the whole Droog culture, uh, not drug, but Droogy culture. Uh, that these guys were, you know, it's kind of like not really oi, but kind of a droogy. It's kind of a subculture of a underground culture. Yeah, just culture. Google it. Yeah, just Google it. Google droogies. That's with two O's. Not it's not not druggy, but lower class brass. All right, I have my last item, and uh, this is another item that was on there. I think it was as a sorted brand. So hold on. Yeah, it was listed as a sorted brand. So I just Googled because I thought it looked interesting. Okay, it's gonna be hard for you to tell, Ollie. So it's a top and it's got a ruffle that goes on your shoulder. Okay, this is hard for me to show. And then this goes on your arm also. So <laughs> it's hard to show it. So it's a little crop top. This is the top part. And this goes uh -huh. on your shoulder and this goes on your arm. And it's only on one side. It's really cute. It looks really cute on the mannequin. And then it has this really sweet zipper. Anyway, I just thought it was really cute. I Googled the style and I found out that it was sold on um, Revolve, I think. Revolve or Shopbop, one of the two. But it's this brand called uh, Style Keepers. And it still has the plastic thing. So it looks like it's new without tags. I can definitely tell it's never been laundered. But um, only a few of these had sold on Poshmark and they've sold for over $50. So I should make a good profit on this cute little pink top. Plus I love pink, so it'll go nice. Looks, it looks kind of like a salsa outfit, doesn't it? What? Salsa, it looks like a salsa outfit. You yeah, know salsa I could see that. That's clearly not how you salsa. However. <laughs> yeah, I could see that's that. What it, that's what it makes me think of, the it's, Lombada. It's very cute. So I'm happy about that. And last but not least. This is it? This is the end of it? Whoa. It's a group sex. <laughs> so this is one of those, this is one of those seminal 80s punk yeah. fans. I mean, you cannot talk mm. about uh, American hardcore punk without going into the Circle Jerks and Keith Morris. And I mean, Keith Morris kind of span, he had his fingers in a lot of pies, you know. He was involved with a lot of bands back in the 80s. Um, he's a legend. Yeah, they're all noteworthy. Um, he's still, if I'm not mistaken, he's still doing a lot of stuff with Off, uh, which is what he's, that's his band now. Um, but uh, but he was involved with Black Flag. He was involved. He's with, so funny because you know, any punk rock documentary you watch, they have Keith in there. He's in every one of them. Yeah. He's in every one of them. He loves talking about it, and I love you know he he's got such a good attitude about it, and he's always fun to watch. He's so hilarious. He, I think they seek him out for that. But yeah. uh, but this is a this is a good one. This and Wild in the Streets are two fantastic records. And so I didn't have this one for whatever reason, and so I had to get it. And that's all. That was that's a crazy a, haul. That's a big haul. That's a big, big haul. So that's so. it. That's the end of our three-part series where we shared Oliver's insane vinyl haul, where he spent <laughs> way too much money, and my insane thread-up assorted brands and other outlet brands. Um, sales that I'm going to resell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. Etsy because I just got a vintage sweater. So uh, yeah, I hope that everybody liked this. If not, we had fun doing it. So that's all that matters. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But, I had a blast. Uh, 
Um, I, I do. Want, I do want to, before before we kind of start wrapping things up. I do want to give a shout out. I forgot to do this in the beginning. I want to do this in the beginning, but I wanted to say uh, give a shout out to Heroin Bob. Uh, and you know, Victoria just did a live YouTube interview with Heroin Bob uh, earlier this week, and uh, and it was so much fun. You know, I got in the live feed to support uh, Victoria, and um, you know, Victoria did awesome at it. And that's up on YouTube. So, you know, if you uh, if anybody's interested, go check that out on Bob Buys. Uh, you can look her up uh, on YouTube and check that out. That was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with that. And Victoria yeah, we'll, was awesome. We'll link the video below. And she's incredible. And what's funny is you gave her a shout out in our left, a part two of the series. So did she, I really? Yeah, because that was the same night that I did the interview. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because we did, we recorded right after. That's right. Yeah. That was so much fun. Yeah. I had a good time with that, and she yeah. she is she's an amazing person. So. Yeah, I really like her a lot. All right, wrap us up, Ollie. All right. Well, listen, guys, we love you all so very much. We just want to invite you to come join us. Uh, you know, if you like what you see today, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. We love reading your comments subscribe tell your friends tell your family telephone telegraph anybody just bring everybody in uh we're so our numbers are growing we're so excited yeah thank you all so much for coming back to watch our videos we appreciate it so much and thank you guys. we love you so much we'll see you next time bye One love.